So I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction here before I go into actually making my videos. So I'm going to give you a series of videos here on circuit analysis. Now, circuit analysis can be an entire course all by itself, and I'm not going to go into that much detail. But circuit analysis is also a topic within the general physics courses. We've looked at some simple series circuits and some simple parallel circuits, and now it's time to look at the more complex circuits. Now I'm going to work through this particular circuit over here, which has a combination of series and parallel. And I'm going to do it in two different ways. One, by breaking it down into a set of series or parallel sub-circuits, and then working backwards to find out the current and voltage for each resistor in the system. I'm then going to make a different video where I take the exact same circuit, but apply Kirchhoff's rules to it and show you how that circuit can be analyzed in using Kirchhoff's rules instead. Each one of these videos is going to be longer than my typical video, which is partly why I made this video as an introduction, so that I can jump right into the solutions on the other ones. Now for the students who are taking my course, this is going to be similar, but this is a little bit more complex than the one you have to solve for class. So you're going to do one that's a little bit more basic, but you're going to use these same techniques to analyze the circuit. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, just kind of watch and, and figure out the, the patterns that we're doing and focus on the technique and strategy and see if you can follow along on the math. But again, for my students, you're going to be doing a different example problem that you'll be turning into me.